Greetings, users and programs. This is Itari Living Sacrifice, and today we're going to be talking about how making sure our bodies get enough rest or sleep can help us better focus on our goals. I want to give a huge shout out to Gaming J, who was kind enough to donate most of the footage used in today's episode. Most of the time, you will hear me tell people they probably need to spend more time focusing on taking action on their dream. The reason I say this is most people don't dedicate themselves enough to what they say is their lifelong passion or dream and instead spend most of that time talking about it rather than actually doing it. If you are just sitting around not doing that much, then the answer to getting ahead might be working longer and harder to getting you to that next level. At the end of the day, however, there is only 24 hours in a day. We can't change that. I can't change that. You can't change that. I'll hear people say, if it takes 12 hours a day, I'll do that. And if that's not enough, I'll do 18 hours a day, whatever it takes. And yes, I want you to do that. It's your dream. It's your passion. Why not? What else are you going to spend your time on? However, eventually we all get tired. We need rest. As human beings, we will eventually get tired and burned out if we don't get enough rest or sleep. And pretty much every scientist says we need to get an average of about eight hours of sleep a night to be at our peak performance. Let's correlate this to how most MMOs this day and age work. And I'll actually reference the Wowpedia website and we will see exactly how this lesson from a video game correlates to our everyday lives from the Wowpedia website on the subject of rest. Rest is a system whereby characters may accumulate a bonus modifier for experience points gains. Earning XP from certain sources while rested will grant additional XP, but will consume part of the rest state or bonus. The bonus is gained slowly while the character is logged out or sleeping, and more rapidly whenever the character is in an inn or city. The rest bonus is a useful and easily obtained boost to the leveling process and provides a good reason to log out in cities and inns and to take regular breaks from play. However, even if constantly maintained, it represents only a fraction of the experience gained by a player while leveling and should be viewed as a bonus and not a requisite for play. One bubble of rested XP, 5% of your current level, is earned for every eight hours spent resting. A maximum of 30 bubbles or 150% of your current level may be earned. This means that you can leave your character resting in an inn or a capital city for up to 10 days without gaining experience before you earn the maximum amount of rest state. Note that rested bonus is earned relative to the character's current level since lower level characters gain levels more frequently, the rested bonus is generally consumed far more quickly at these levels. For example, a fully rested level 1 character could easily use up their rest bonus within a few minutes, while a level 85 character's full rest bonus could last for hours of play. The rested bonus can therefore be seen as more valuable and worthwhile at higher levels. Now remember, rest is not required for play. Rested bonus is nice to have and use, but it is not required. Some players have been known to stop playing their characters when they have consumed all of the rested bonus. This is fine, and it is the player's choice, but know that it is not bad to play without rested bonus. Your character is not tired nor penalized in any way. It actually takes longer to level to the current cap if you stop playing your character specifically to let rested bonus accrue because in the amount of time the bonus fills up, you could easily go another level. In short, if you are enjoying playing the character, just keep on going, rested or not. Just log out at an inn for a little bonus between sessions. Let's cover a couple of these points in more detail. 
When we average around eight hours of sleep, we get a little 5% extra bonus in our day-to-day -day lives. We feel better, we function better, we are able to better focus on the task at hand. Now we have to remember that at lower levels, AKA when we first starting out in a new endeavor, that resting bonus doesn't really add up to much. To quote Jim Rohn, who has some great videos on a variety of topics, and by the way, hint, hint, watch Jim Rohn videos and read his books, and I'll have some recommended ones linked in the description. Jim Rohn says, when you are new, you make up in numbers what you lack in skill. When I first decided to start taking my dreams and building my businesses seriously, it was very common for me to work 12, 16 hours a day for weeks at a time. Remember, rested bonus is nice to have and use, but it is not required. Like the Wowpedia says, if you're enjoying playing the character, just keep on going, rested or not. As time goes on, we become better skilled, which makes us more productive with our time investments. Listen, all of us have the same amount of time in a day. We all have 24 hours to a day. If you are waiting till you have more time to chase after your dream, then I hate to break it to you, there will never be more than 24 hours in a day. It sounds like you might have side quest fatigue, which is a topic we have covered in a previous video, which I will also link in the description. A lot of people ask me, how is it that I'm able to accomplish so much in the same 24 hour period that everyone else has and still be able to have time to play video games and go to conventions? Well, when I first got started, I didn't have the time to play video games and go to conventions. I would spend my eight hours or so working on my regular job and then spend every possible second I could working on my dream. I didn't really do anything else. There were many nights where I didn't get a full eight hours of sleep. I didn't take vacations. I spent my time building my dream. Here's the lesson I want you to take away from all this. As a human being, as human beings, we go through cycles. Ask yourself this question. At your current stamina level, how long can you reasonably go for without a break? Three days in a row? Seven days in a row? 30 days? 90 days? Set some goals that stretch you a little bit, but not too much or you will break. Make sure you schedule some rest periods or you will get tired and burnt out. If right now you can go seven days before you need to log off and get some rest, then do that. Don't say, well, I've got so much going on right now, I'm so busy, I just can't afford to take a break. Because if you do that, you will break. Take some time off, get some sleep, do whatever it is that helps you clear your brain and recharge, and then log back on and start leveling again. As you level up, you will probably need longer rest periods to fully recharge. Remember what Wowpedia said, after 10 days, the rest bar will be at its peak. After extended periods of focused effort on our goals, we now take trips or vacations, for example, to help us recharge. And I know that after about maybe seven to 10 days or so, I start to get restless and antsy and wanna get back to my projects, get back to working on my goals and dreams. So it sounds like after about 10 days, you're more than fully rested. You shouldn't need more than 10 days of rest and relaxation to get fully recharged. Make sure you hear what I am not saying. And I have to be very careful how I say this or it might be taken the wrong way. And this is mainly directed at people whose dream is building wealth and security through a business endeavor or something similar. So if that's not your dream, then I hope you can still glean the lesson I am trying to teach and apply it to your life. I am not saying I get a full eight hours of sleep every night or you need to get a full eight hours of sleep every night to succeed. I am not saying just because you're tired you should take a break even though you can't pay your bills. I have such a hard time mentoring people that say they want to build a side business that will eventually become their full-time gig and they can't pay their bills or afford to invest into necessary things to build their business and they tell me that the weekend is family time or they're going to take the weekend to rest and recuperate. 
bro, you've been working for less than a week on your dream and you said you were three months behind on your mortgage and that's why you had to do something else because what you were doing wasn't getting the results you needed. Sometimes it's necessary to push through that fatigue and still perform so that way you can have the ability to take the time off and not be stressed out the whole time you are spending with the family, wondering how you were gonna pay off that credit card you just used to take that family outing that nobody really enjoyed because you were so stressed out the entire time. What I am saying is to celebrate the small victories. If you worked your butt off that week and you wanna take a short break with the family to celebrate, by all means, take a few hours, just not the whole weekend. Remember why your dreams and goals are so important to you. I want you to live a happy and fulfilled life. And the way we do that is by having something worth living and fighting for. Just remember to schedule those rest periods and take advantage of that experience boost. Again, I want to thank the awesome Reddit and Let's Play community for helping me get access to the gaming footage I needed for this episode. You guys are awesome, and there are links in the description to all the channels that donated footage below. If this video helps one fellow gamer adapt their way of thinking and grow into the type of person that they have always dreamed of becoming, then my time has been well spent. If this video has helped you in any way, then help your fellow gamers out and share it with them. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up on that like button and subscribe. And until next time, remember to keep moving forward.